Hey YouTube, I'm gonna do a video on how to properly cut wood. Now you see a lot of people who cut wood, sorry about the sun if it's in your face there, got my PPE. You see a lot of people who cut wood and they do it the wrong way. I mean, I guess there's an improper way, um, there's a better way of cutting wood. So I'll give you a couple techniques. The first I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna do them wrong, is using the chainsaw like a bucking saw or like a hand saw. So I think it kind of goes back and just about probably everybody that has ever cut with a chainsaw has done this. And uh, it's kind of like the sawing motion back and forth as you cut. There really is no need for that. That just, um, that's inefficient. It can lead to kickback if you hit something bad. And so I'm gonna do that first. I'm gonna kind of cut, do the saw back and forth. Then uh, there's gonna be a couple proper ways of, of doing it, how to cut. You can cut um, with the log dogs, you can cut uh, mid uh, to upper uh, upper blade, upper chain, however you want to do it. So I'm sure there's uh, terminology for this, but this is just kind of what I've learned over the years, uh, watching YouTube, seeing the professionals do it. I am far from professional. I just like to, uh, I have a, I guess it's a healthy habit, but it could be an unhealthy habit of chainsaw collection and boot collection, but um, I'm able to make money from it. So maybe it's a career, I don't know. So stay with me. Uh, we're going to do a couple cuts, and always like your comments, so let me know what you think. So this is some Ponderosa pine, uh, I don't know, 14, 15 inches, and my ever tried and true uh, 7901, 7900, formerly a Home Depot saw, now with a top end MFJ put on it. So um, here we go, frostbite bar with a... I think that's the fro um I don't know who makes that chain. 3 8 uh full comp. Please get away. <laughs> the wrong way to do it I mean you can't really get a good cut if you look I'll show it to you I know a lot of people aren't looking for aesthetics but I cut you're gonna get a lot of different wavy motions on it your top and your bottom aren't gonna be the same uh, the same width so so as you do that it's just not safe Now those two cuts were one, the first one was with the dogs, the second one was kind of a mid, a mid, uh, a mid blade cut without using the dogs. Still going to get a little bit of feathering as you kind of change your position with the dogs, you'll kind of have a little feathering on there. If you want perfect aesthetics, it's kind of a straight down cut. You want to line it up so that all your thickness is good. These I'm actually making for weddings and stuff. People really like these uh, these rounds to use. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. That was just my quick tutorial on how I cut and how not to cut. Uh, don't be afraid to try different things. Know your chainsaw safety. There's a bunch of really good videos. Husqvarna actually puts out one. I think it's in English. There's also a couple in... Um, uh, Swedish, but the ones in English were really good. It's like a 40 45 minute video And so with that you can uh, Learn how to, how to drop a tree how to fell a tree same thing how to buck a tree up. So um Have a wonderful afternoon. Hopefully you're having a good holiday season a wonderful uh, fall and winter Talk to you soon. Adios